Hey again, Elliot J here with Conquer Statistics. Today what we're going to do is create a bar graph with standard error bars. First thing you need to do is calculate the mean and the standard error. And to do that, you'll first need a plugin. If you already have this, you'll be good to go. You go to File and then Options. Once you're at Options, click on Add-ins. And then on Manage, you go to Excel Add-ins and hit Go. And make sure that you have the analysis tool pack and the solver add-on in and hit OK. Once you've done this, you can now uh, solve for what you're going for. So click on data. From data, hit data analysis. From here, click on descriptive statistics and hit OK. Make sure you have the input range set for the values you want to use. So highlight all the values you want to use. And then for output range, make sure you have the area that you want to paste your output. So here's great. Make sure you have summary statistics checked and then hit OK. Once you've hit OK, you now have your mean and your standard error. So these are the two things you're going to need. So go ahead and copy the mean and paste it over here. Once you've done that, you can go to insert and then bar charts and go ahead and click on this two dimensional one. Now what we have to do is add the standard error. So hit the plus sign and then error bars. Once you click on error bars, click on this over here. And then what you want now is the more options. And then from here, click on the error bars option, which is this icon over here. And instead of what it is now, click on the fixed value and enter what the standard error is. And in this case, the standard error is 0 0.225277. Once you've done that, hit enter. And this is what you'll find. So you see how the graph needs to be changed, how everything is pushed up to the top. So to reformat the axis, right click on the Y axis and click Format Axis. And then now um, find something that works. So with this data, 0 to 4.5 works really well. And that's how you do it. You could also get rid of the grid lines if you like and title it as you wish and get rid of this at the bottom. And that's how you create a bar graph in Excel. Thanks for watching.